Hi there! In today's lesson, we're looking at angles and their measures. Our objectives are to use angle postulates and classify angles as acute, right, obtuse, or straight. Here's our vocabulary words. Our first word is angle. An angle consists of two different rays that have the same initial point. So remember, a, a ray has an initial point and then the line has an arrowhead that shows that it goes on forever and ever. When you have two rays together, as you can see over here, this is one ray and this is the second ray. And where these two rays meet, they create an angle. Sides of an angle. In an angle, the rays are called the sides of an angle. Vertex of an angle. In an angle, the initial point is the vertex of the angle. In this case over here, this point right here, that's our initial point. That's where the two rays meet. It is called the vertex of an angle. Congruent angles. Congruent angles are the angles that have the same measure. Measure of an angle. The measure of angle AOB is equal to the absolute value of the difference between the real number of ray OA and ray OB. Usually when we're talking about the measure of an angle, you'll see it written like this. Measure of angle. In this case, we're looking at AOB. So measure of angle AOB. Interior of an angle. The interior of an angle is all points between the points that lie on each side of the angle. Exterior of an angle. The exterior of an angle is all points not on the angle or in its interior. Acute angle. An acute angle is an angle that measures between 0 and 90 degrees. Right angle. A right angle is an angle that measures 90 degrees. Exactly. Obtuse angle. An obtuse angle is an angle that measures between 90 and 180 degrees. Straight angle. A straight angle is an angle that measures exactly 180 degrees. Adjacent angle. Two angles are adjacent angles if they have a common vertex and side but have no common interior point. In this image over here, angle 1 and angle 2 are adjacent because they have common sides but you can see that any of the points inside angle 2 is not shared with any of the points in angle 1. Example 1, naming angles. In this example, we are to name the angles in the figure. Now, when you're naming angles, one thing that is important to know is where your vertex of your angle is. That will always be your middle letter. And usually when you name angles, you have three letters with the middle one being the vertex. If we were looking here at this angle from K to L to J, we can say that one of its names is angle J, L, K, or we can go the other way and we can go angle K, L, J. Notice in both of these names, the L, which is my vertex of my angle, is in the center or is the middle letter. The other angle we have goes this way, and one way we can name it is if we go M, L, K, or we can go the other way and say angle K, L, M. Again, vertex is at the center of the angle, so we're looking at this angle right here. The last angle that we have is basically a straight line, and so we can write it as angle J, L, M, or write it the other way as angle M, L, J. All right, check my problems number one and two are yours. In both of these problems, it is asking you to write two names for the angle. So give me two names for problem number one and two names for problem number two. Postulate 3, protractor postulate. Consider a point A on one side of line OB. The rays of the form ray OA can be matched one to one with the real numbers from 0 to 180 degrees. The measure of angle AOB is equal to the absolute value of the difference between the real numbers from ray OA and ray OB. Postulate 4, angle addition postulate. If point P is in the interior of angle RST, so angle RST is right here, and point P is inside angle RST, then the measure of angle RSP, which is this angle over here, RSP, plus the measure of angle PST, which is this angle over here, is equal to the measure of angle RST, which means that if I take this angle and add it to this angle, I get this entire red angle over here. 
Example number two, calculating angle measures. Lawn care. A lawn is watered by a sprinkler that has two fixed spray heads that each spray water in a fan shape. The angle that determines each of the fan shapes is 120 degrees. The shaded area in the diagram shows where the two fan shapes overlap. Find the measure of angle two. Well, I know that the sprinkler head, if I'm looking at the sprinkler head, which is number one, it actually goes all the way over here and then overlaps with sprinkler head number three so that this shaded region is the region where the two sprinklers overlap. So I know that the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two is 120 degrees. That's what it says over here. Now I'm given the measure of angle one, that's 30 degrees. I know that the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two is 120 degrees. I can solve for the measure of angle two by subtracting 30 on each side and 120 minus 30 gives me 90 degrees. So the measure of angle 2 is 90 degrees. Example number three, classifying angles in a coordinate plane. This example we will do in class as we need a protractor for it. So if you have a protractor, please bring it to class. Checkpoint problems number three and four are yours. In both of these problems, we are to use the angle addition postulate to find the measures of the angle. So for checkpoint problem number three, find the measure of angle ABC. And for checkpoint problem number four, find the measure of angle HLK. I'll give you a hint. This little square box over here means that this HLJ is 90 degrees. All right, that's all for this lesson. I'll see you all soon.